Not all video games are available in all countries, and while some places might ban them because some scenes might be politically incorrect, maybe brought things too far, or whatever the case may be, some games are so vulgar, so violent, or so suggestive that they actually get totally shut down. Welcome back to Top 5 Gaming, everyone, where today we'll be taking a look at the top 10 video games that were banned. Before we get into this video, let's see if we can smash 5,000 likes on this video, and also be sure to comment down below letting us know which of the games on this list that you would have loved to play in your country if that game wasn't banned. Then we'll pin the comment with the most thumbs up. Number 10, Manhunt 2. Violent video games have always been blamed for bad behavior but I think this is the first time a specific game has been affected. I mean, the first Manhunt game was apparently the reason a boy was beaten up and stabbed in the UK, and now the second one will never get released there. So why not? Well, the game has some super brutal torture and murder scenes, and the whole time it encourages the player to do more and more. There are even realistic motions for sawing off a dude's leg, and that was something the UK government didn't want kids watching, for some reason. <laughs> Seems like a pretty good reason to me. Number 9, The Guy Game, banned in the US. So for a lot of these games, whether or not they should have been banned is up for debate, but with this one, well, not so much. I mean, it's really hard for a game to get banned in the US, but I'm not surprised it happened to this one. Basically, it's just a straightforward quiz game, but when you get questions right, real women take their shirts off on screen. Sounds dumb but harmless, I know, but one of those girls was underage and the lawsuit was so huge that the game lost right to be sold in the US ever again. Number 8, Postal 2. Sometimes violence and offensive language in games is there for a reason, and sometimes, well, it's just there to shock people. Postal 2 is definitely in the second category, and the constant pointless gore is what got it banned in New Zealand. The plot is that you're just a normal dude, but sometimes you fly into a rage so intense that you do super awful things. There's animal cruelty, homophobia, racial stereotypes, and even an option to pee wherever you want. It's not surprising people didn't like it. With that said, the fine for owning a copy is over $1,000, so if you live in New Zealand, it's really not worth checking out. Number 7, Omega Labyrinth Z, just recently banned in the UK. Different countries have different ideas about what's acceptable in games, and this is a perfect example of that. I mean, Omega Labyrinth Z had no problem being published in Japan, but in Germany, the UK, New Zealand, and Australia, it was a whole different story. As for the reason why, well, the whole game is about seeing anime schoolgirls naked Naked, and a fair few of them are obviously supposed to be underage. That's a big no-no for a lot of countries, and even the developers said that they weren't surprised that it was struggling to get an out-of-Japan release. Number 6, Soldier of Fortune Payback, banned in Australia and Germany. Soldier of Fortune Payback might sound like a normal FPS game, but it definitely wasn't treated like one. I mean, it was banned in both Germany and Australia pretty much straight away. And in those countries, you can only find it online. It was banned for the same reasons, too. You could dismember people and kill them while they begged for their lives, and apparently that was a step too far. To be fair though, critics also didn't like the film just because it was boring and unoriginal, so at least you know you're not missing out on much. Number 5. Harvester. Censored in Europe and banned in Germany. Okay, okay, so this one is a bit ironic, because the whole plot is about whether violence in video games causes violence in real life, and it was banned for, you guessed it, violence. I mean, in some countries it was just censored and had certain scenes removed, but in Germany it was flat out banned, mostly because of a scene where some children eat their mother's body. With that said, this is another game that critics thought was dated and mostly pointless, and even though it has a cult following, it wasn't super successful in the places it wasn't banned either. Number 4, Football Manager 2005, banned in China. Sometimes when a game gets banned, it actually has more to do with the country than the game. That's what happened here, because Football Manager 2005 was totally banned in China at first, and all because of a political issue. Basically, China considers Tibet and Taiwan to be part of their territory, but not everyone else in the world agreed. When China realized that the game had separate Tibetan and Taiwanese football teams, they pulled it from the shelves, and a new version had to be made with just a Chinese team. Number 3, Command & Conquer. Generals banned in China for destroying China. Lots of countries have a reputation for banning games, but with China, they tend to ban games for totally different reasons. I mean, Command & Conquer Generals is not a super violent game, and it doesn't involve controversy about territory, so why did they ban it? The reason is you can play as either the US or China, but the opening cutscene shows a bomb going off in Beijing, followed by the famous Three Gorges Dam being destroyed. Footage of these important sites being wrecked was considered too offensive to be released, and the whole series was blanket banned, not just that one game. Number 2, Bully, banned in Brazil for taking place in a school. Rockstar are pretty used to having their games banned in certain countries, but I've got to be honest, I don't think they saw this one coming. I mean, Bully is kind of a violent game, but it's not like super violent, and yet it still never got a release in Brazil. So why? 
Well, apparently the main issue is that it takes place in a school, and that makes all the violence seem way more real. The government thought it might be too harmful to kids who end up being bullied or becoming bullies, and instead of trying to tackle bullying in school, they just banned the game. Number one, Fortnite in Australia. Australia's Acorn Affair ran a story about a kid where they make Fortnite out to be extremely harmful and violent, and the journalist asks, so you kill others, in which the kid of course responds, yes, you shoot them, and then they fall to the ground and die. But in any case, there's no gore, there's no blood, there's nothing really in the game that I would say is truly violent, or anything outside of the violence that you would find in other games with the same rating, so I think that this Australian news outlet needs to relax. I don't know, that's just my thought anyway. Feel free to read more in the description below, but there's our video on the top 10 video games that were banned. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever we upload a video. Also, if you have your own top 5 or top 10 idea, feel free to use our extremely handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you all for watching, I hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.